Astrophysicists have successfully turned our entire galaxy into a telescope. And no, I didn't misspeak there. This team of astrophysicists has spent the last 15 years studying an array of 68 pulsars and what they found will completely change our understanding of the universe forever. What they detected was the gravitational wave background. This is an entirely new way of studying the universe and this will allow us to unlock secrets of the cosmos Einstein only dreamed of. Things like detecting far more supermassive black holes in our universe, providing insight to the time before the Big Bang, and possibly revealing the structure of space-time itself. So let's go over what the gravitational wave background is, why it's such a big deal that this was discovered, and how this will be used to make some of the biggest discoveries discoveries about the universe humanity has ever made. To fully understand all of this, we need to go back and talk about the LIGO Laboratory, which is where gravitational waves were detected for the very first time back in 2015. These gravitational waves are the signatures of ripples in the fabric of space caused by the merging of black holes or two neutron stars. LIGO uses a series of highly sensitive lasers inside two arms that are four kilometers each. If the lasers in one of these arms were to shift more than the other, it would indicate that the gravitational wave has passed through Earth which means a ripple in the fabric of space caused one arm to briefly be longer or shorter than the other by an incredibly small amount. But even though each of these arms are extremely long, they are far too small to pick up gravitational waves from anything other than small black holes or neutron stars. To detect larger gravitational waves, you need arms that are too big to fit on our planet. These arms would have to be light years in length. So on June 29th, the NanoGrav collaboration made up of astrophysicists from around the globe announced their groundbreaking discovery. They used an array of millisecond pulsars, the leftovers of dead stars that spin hundreds of times per second to detect the gravitational wave background. They made what is called a pulsar timing array, and the idea behind it is that they could study the relative positions of each pulsar in the array to determine if a large gravitational wave has passed by, thus altering its position. And keep in mind, these pulsars are light years away from Earth. So in other words, they used an array of 68 pulsars to effectively turn our entire galaxy into a telescope. So after 15 long years of using the pulsar timing array, they discovered evidence for the gravitational wave background, or GWB, the light year sized waves rippling through the fabric of spacetime. And these gigantic waves aren't just happening every so often, they're running through the universe in all directions all the time. They're primarily caused by massive black holes circling one another but not colliding, and these events are happening constantly in the universe. These waves cause the universe to actually hum, and humanity has finally found a way to listen. Traditionally in physics, everything we discover about the universe in some way is done using light. You may have either seen this image before or know exactly what it is. This is the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. It's the leftover radiation from the Big Bang itself. This faint glow of light signatures permeates the entire universe uniformly. You can't see it, but it's everywhere. But because the CMB is light, we are limited on how far back we can use it to see in the universe's timeline. The CMB only lets us see events about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This is when the universe cooled enough for electrons and protons to form the first atoms. Before that, the universe was opaque. That means that electrons and protons were bouncing around in the universe in such a chaotic manner that photons of light couldn't make their way through it without hitting an electron or a proton. The universe had a barrier of sorts, not allowing light to pass through, thus anything that happened before 380,000 years after the Big Bang, we can't see light signatures from that time. But gravitational waves are not bound by those same rules. Gravitational waves can pass through this early universe barrier, giving us a glimpse at a time before the CMB, at a time in the universe only a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. 
Studying the gravitational wave background can also reveal the positions of new supermassive black holes by simply tracing the waves backwards towards their point of origin. What astronomers may end up finding in the coming years is an absolutely huge amount of new supermassive black holes in the universe, far more than we ever could have imagined. The GWB could also lead to confirming many theories about string theory. If the universe is made up of vibrating cosmic strings, some of which are bent and twisted, we would expect to see that when they untwist and snap back, that would produce a huge gravitational wave. Additionally, the GWB could be used to map spacetime. Sort of how a bat uses echolocation to determine the structure of its environment, astronomers could use the GWB to determine the shape of spacetime itself. And these are just some of the very early potential discoveries humanity could make using the GWB. The point is, we're in uncharted territory of physics. An entirely new branch of physics has been discovered and the possibilities of what we will find as a result of this are seemingly endless. Now, it will take time for astronomers to make these discoveries, but now that we know that the gravitational wave background is there, astronomers can add more pulsars to the array, further refining the measurements that they're able to make. This discovery isn't just massive for the world of physics. This is a triumph for all of humanity and a testament to our undying commitment and obsession to unlock the secrets of the universe.